Hello and welcome to this quick video on this thing here. This is the new Vifly Whoop Store and this is a battery charger for Whoops and smaller models but it has a couple of extra features that I'm quite excited about. Now Vifly makes some cool gadgets. I've looked at quite a few on the channel. I'll put links down below. They do things like the Vifly Finder which is fantastic if you lose a model it's worth its weight in gold literally the Wi-Fi strobe which is a very bright flashing LED that you can put on models to help with navigation location collision avoidance things like that and also they do something called the GPS mate which allows you to power the GPS and get a GPS lock without having the rest of the system up as well so it's fun to see them bringing out something new now interestingly this is something that was due out in January this year and they sent out some review units and got some feedback and impressively stopped production went back and redesigned some pieces because the feedback they got was that pilots wanted the real BT 2.0 connectors as well as the PH 2.0 power whoop connectors on it as well. So props to Vifly for actually listening to pilots about what they want. I love it when vendors listen to the community. Those who have done it in the past end up releasing better products. We don't end up with a version 1 or version 0.8 or kind of a beta version and then we end up having to have the second version being the one that works. Manufacturers that come out and actually talk to pilots actually end up with better products straight out the gate. I wish more vendors did this and wish some that used to, like ZOHD, still did. So the specs on this is 101 millimeters, 49 by 22. Input voltages uh, are going to be 7 to 21 volts. So that's a 2S to a 5S battery, really. Uh, the USB-C uh, connector, that is for high power connection. So 9 to 12 volts. It won't run on a 5 volt supply. But if you have something that's going to uh, talk to it as a charger, then that's going to work. Maximum input power is 30 watts. The maximum charge current per port is 0 0.9 amps. As I just said, it's got PH 2.0 and also BT 2.0 connectors for each port. So there's only six ports to charge from, but you have your choice of which one to use. It also, I'm very excited to say, has discharging too. Now I've been using my trusty TBS Tiny Whoop charger. This is really basic. You just kind of plug this sucker in and it charges everything up to high voltage. Um, so this is what 4.35 volts a cell. Now, um, unfortunately, I've had to kind of get my hands on some adapters for the latest kind of uh, connectors that are commonly used on Whoops, but we seem to have standardized now. Now, one of the big things that's missing on this is the discharge or storage function. Sometimes you charge batteries and you don't get a chance to use them. Leaving batteries fully charged does them no power good at all. So this will allow you to do a storage voltage as well as select between standard and high voltage using a little switch at the front. This little switch here allows you to choose between whether or not you're using it to uh, charge or take the charge batteries down to storage. In terms of using it, it's really simple, surprise, surprise. We just select the voltage that we want. Let's put it on 4.2 because I'm not sure what all these batteries are. We'll plug it in. We have a little screen. Let's take the plastic off. So we have a little screen. Um, that kind of weird rolling effect is just the shutter from the camera. But it shows you the input voltage, the charge current, what you've got it set at, and the actual voltages for all of the cells. And then what you need to do, let's find the different connectors. So let's have one for one of those, stick it in there. Off we go. Let's stick another one in one of the other ports and that can be doing its thing while we talk. So with those plugged in, you can see on the screen that it actually tells you exactly what's going on. It tells you the voltages. Now there aren't really lots of LEDs until we press the start button and then the LEDs come on. So if it's solid red, it's charging. If it's flashing red, it's nearly charged. However, if you are putting them into storage mode, then it's a yellow light that comes on and starts to flash when it's nearly back to storage charge. 
Now you can change also the amount of current that you're using to charge these batteries. So if I just stop this with a long press, there we go, it says charge ready. If I just briefly press the button, hopefully you can see there on the screen, it's changing the charging amperage. What capacity are these things? 450 and 300. Uh, you can't change it per port, unfortunately, but let's go for 300, because or 0.3 of an amp, because it's the 300 milliamp, and then the long press, and then away we go. So really easy and straightforward. There are some nice touches to this as well that show that they thought about it. There is an auto cutoff when the input voltage reaches 3.5 volts a cell, so you can't overstress the supply battery, which is good. It should work with any power supply that's over about 28 watts. If you are using a PD or a QC style USB charger for the USB power connection, if it only does the 9 volts, be aware the current is limited to 0.6 amps per output. So only a couple of things to be aware of. Like I said, be aware that you can only plug one battery of one type into each port. So you can't plug 12 batteries in. I know some of you are probably watching the video thinking that exact thing. Uh, there's no chance to use it with a regular 5 volt supply. You're going to use uh, something like that PD or QC USB style charger or just run it from a LiPo battery. Or there is the chance to use it from an external power supply as well. And the other thing, small thing, but there aren't any foam feet on the bottom and none in the box. So you don't want to put this on Granny's French polished table. You're not going to make any friends. Uh, sticking a bit of foam at the bottom might be a nice idea. There are some pretty big heat sinks in here. There's one heat sink, which I'm guessing is used for the power regulation. Hopefully you can see that. And another great big stonking one that goes pretty much the whole length of the case that kind of black bar that you can see in there. I'm guessing that is for the discharge piece. So I'll be replacing my aging TBS Whoop battery charger with this as I've wanted one with a storage charge and the ability to choose between high voltage and regular LiPo stuff for a while. I would have liked a slightly more intuitive menu and not have all these different little switches to set everything up, but actually once you get used to it, it's a very simple way to do it without having to remember long and short presses and how you navigate everything. It does link to the AliExpress site for this particular thing. I'm not a huge fan of that. The issue with AliExpress China warehouses is that lots of other places won't stock it because they'll struggle to get near, near that price. And I hope that isn't the case. I hope this is widely available from lots of other resellers too because it's a really nice, capable, solid charger. Time will tell how it holds up, but from the playing that I've had here, it's working really nicely. So if you're like me and have loads of batteries that need charging and you want something that will do all of this stuff with charging, discharging, the ability to set high voltage or regular LiPo stuff, have both the PH 2.0 and the BT 2.0 connectors and do six at a time, this is the one to look at. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.